Okay, let's go through how to run the Magic Mirror Mini program from your Android phone. So as you can see here, I've got an Android phone. This is running Android Gingerbread, um, non-rooted, completely stock. So here's the app. Let's go ahead and launch it. And if it finds the yo-yo board, it's going to launch automatically here. And uh, what I wanted to show you right now was all the settings. So this is how you configure everything. So let's first go into settings. And uh, let's just go through these one at a time. So verbose mode, if I check it, let's go ahead and check it and then go back. It's now going to show me the raw data coming in from the proximity sensor as well as the potentiometer. So I'm just going to put my hand in front of the proximity sensor. You can see it change there. And then likewise with the proximity sensor, you can see I'm just turning that right now. And that's good because if you want to make sure that you've uh, hooked up your sensors correctly, that's a good troubleshooting tool. So that's verbose mode. Let's go ahead and turn that off right now. Um, stealth mode is interesting. So this would be for kind of like a gag or a surprise mode. So let's just check that. I'll show you what that means. So with stealth mode, everything is completely off. And it's not until I trigger the proximity sensor or trigger another video will something come on. So that was stealth mode. Let's go ahead and turn that off. Custom videos. So if you want to add your own custom video, so you want to personalize it, um, you can do that. And the way that works is you have to produce the videos in a certain format, which is spelled out in more detail on the website. And then you simply copy the custom videos to the SD card. Um, in this case, it's on the, on the side of the phone. But just copy those videos to the micro SD card, and then you can render them here uh, as part of this program. And there's a naming convention you need to follow as well, which is also in the documentation. Um, screen brightness, don't worry about this one. We can leave that one as the default. Um, Bluetooth pairing. So if you're using it in Bluetooth mode, you would go here and you just need to pair to the device once. If uh, you're in USB direct connected, then you don't need to worry about that. So here's our stock. Um, so what this means is you're going to enter, and I'll show you in a second where to enter in your stock. But here is where you're going to define um, what constitutes a good day for your stock. So with both the stock videos and the weather videos, it's going to play one of three videos. So either you had a good day, you had an okay day, or you had a bad day. And so in this case, what's saying is if your stock, uh, the sum of your, all of your stocks went up by 0.7. And so when I say sum, not doesn't consider how many shares you own, but let's say, let's just pick a stock, Apple. Let's say Apple went up by, um, by $2. So in this case, my good stock threshold was 0.7 or 70 cents. So $2 is greater than 70 cents. So therefore it's going to play the good stock threshold. It's going to play the good stock video. That's how that works. And likewise, the bad stock threshold. So in this case, the default is minus one. So if your stock went down more than one, it's going to say you had a bad day. Of course, you can change these and customize those um, from the settings program. So that's how the stocks work. I'll show you uh, in a second where to set up the stocks. Here is the proximity sensor. So if you have the proximity sensor, you want to leave this on. This is the distance where it will trigger. So that's in inches. So that means is if uh, the subject is within eight inches of the proximity sensor, then the videos are going to play. And this just tells you how long, um, 50. So you can tweak this. So if you want to make the person wait a little bit longer, so they have to stand in front of the proximity sensor for say a couple seconds, then you want to increase that a little bit. The default, that's roughly about one to two seconds. So if you want to want it longer, just make that a higher number like 100. So that's the proximity sensor. Um, these you don't need to worry about. These are the pins on the yo-yo board that the various switches and sensors are hooked up to. I would just leave them as the defaults, but if whatever reasons you need to use a different pin, then you can go here and change the pin number. But like I said, I'd recommend just to stick with the default pin numbers that, that, that are already there. So uh, last thing here, Let's show you where to set the weather. So I'll go back to here. I'm going to go set weather. And so I can see here my default location is Santa Clara. Um, you can change that. Let's say, for example, let's just change it right now. Let's say I want to change it to Cupertino. 
Cupertino. And it will just do that for me. Okay. And then also this is where you track your stocks. So you can track as many stocks as you want. Um, right now I'm tracking two. Let's say I want to remove one. So I would just do a long tap, hit remove. And now in this case, I'm just tracking one stock. So that is where you track your stocks. So weather, stock. And then just lastly, I've got some instructions here as well. So if you scroll down, remember earlier I talked about the custom videos. So this tells you exactly what, what file format the, the videos need to be in. And then it also tells you the naming convention. So um, you can just follow that, refer to that, and you can see which, um, what files you need to call them, the naming convention. Okay, so I believe that is it. Yep. So I hope you enjoyed that. That is how to configure the Magic Mirror Mini. Thanks a lot.